Hey! Really? Let's go. Wrong.
back. Hey! I help you. Okay. What are your thoughts?
Well then.
<laughs> ah, you're back.
What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet, but at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How did Yoshizawa-san handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. <sighs> Sir. So, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamoshida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot understand. You.
This is it. <laughs> That's it. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? No connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? <sighs> hmm. Hey, is that... Atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? That's very likely. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. write something.
Was that Yoshizawa? Yeah. Stay on guard, though. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I... It's my fault. What? Come on! You must... Kasumi... Stop! Stop it! Yoshizawa's in trouble! Heresy! You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! <laughs> Are you alright, Yoshizawa? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself! Our Lord laments the foolishness burst from your pain! What are you talking about? I heard I the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting get perks like, like that. that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not a bother routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but, well, the place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worth not only have we lost one of them, but the other girls are not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure? Demanding the results that you want? Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <coughs> Rather than accept a life from cinders, you'd strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Hello. If those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion. <laughs> we'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do. Go 
down. Are you all right? I can't be weak anymore. <laughs> Whoa! I'm quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? Dressed like this now. Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here quick. We can explain later. Right. Changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? 
Huh? A cat's talking? <laughs> Took you long enough. And I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, Senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honor status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but... I also overheard the Vice Principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nav? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right... Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so... I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with the catchy san I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way... What's your call? Yoshizawa, of course. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. I appreciate your feeling that way, but... I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, 
One day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. I mean... Hey! It's just one week until the day my father promised. So now we just send the calling card, right? When will this be? What? Today? Okay, we should all meet up after school. Looking forward to it. The Phantom Thieves are amazing!
for inviting me. Oh, I'm the first one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Mona-chan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great! Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Oh yeah! I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. Hmm. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. <sighs> in any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. I should write something. 